creator and sustainer of life. Every breath that we breathe is a gift from you. God, we pray that you would bless and show favor to the ministries of Mosaic and Sanctity of Life. Father, give them wisdom, finances, volunteers, but most of all, would you draw women to the center that they might experience the joy and peace that their hearts are longing for. We pray for every individual that walks through the doors that they would encounter Jesus, that they would place their trust in him because we know, God, that we were created by you to experience our deepest joy and satisfaction in Christ alone. To that end, Lord, we pray that you would use these ministries, use our worship songs, use the message that will be preached today, use the baptism story that we will watch today so that Christ would be made known in Virginia and to the ends of the earth. But God, we come before you and pray because apart from you, we can do nothing. We are dependent upon you. We need you. So that's why we come and ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whew, didn't expect that. Maybe you did. <laughs> um, so good morning. Uh, my name is Tony Chung, one of the staff here at RBC. And uh, if you're wondering why the casual dress, uh, I thought I would set the precedence of what it means to be like Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I need to get, get in something so I can take off uh, easily because I'll be in the baptism pool in a few moments. So before I do that, I want to welcome everybody. Yeah, come on in, everybody. Oh, my goodness. There's a flood of people coming in. So come on in. I uh, wanted to especially welcome those who are visiting with us for the first time. Uh, we would really appreciate it if you would fill out the Connect card, which is in the seat back pocket in front of you, and drop it off in the back, uh, back offering boxes or in the welcome desk in the back. And for those of you that are online, please click on the Connect button, and that will also bring up the online Connect card so that, number one, we can get to know you, and number two, there will be an invitation out to, go to come to a newcomer's luncheon. All right, make sure I'm on target here. Uh, today is uh, Baptism Sunday, as I mentioned. Woohoo! Yeah, that's one of my favorite Sundays. And so, just wanted to explain what is baptism. It is an external or expression, an outward expression of an internal transformation that has taken place for someone who has placed their trust in Jesus Christ for eternal life. Baptism remembers and celebrates Jesus Christ. Him dying on the cross to pay the penalty for our sin. That we can be rescued and reconciled back into a right relationship with God. The gospel of Jesus Christ displayed through baptism. So... I want to ask you to turn your attention to the screen and watch a little part of the story of someone's journey. My name is Marcus Fitz. I have been at RBC for, I think, just around four years. My wife and two children have been coming for about seven years. I want to get baptized because it's a public proclamation of what God has done in my life, and I couldn't possibly have done the work that he's done myself, and I, I just want to give glory to him. I come from a broken home, as you know, many do. I knew of God. My mom went to church in the beginning. At a very young age, I felt like I was chasing love and wanting to be wanted, acceptance, etc. And that turned into a lot of anger and bitterness. It turned into to rage and hate, and then it turned into alcohol and sexual immorality, and just, I wanted the world to be on fire. <laughs> And that continued. I thought I would, it, most of that would go away when I got married. It did not. The cycle continued. 
I was very angry, I was hateful, I was making a lot of really bad decisions that impacted our life. I became a full-blown alcoholic, full-blown rageaholic, a sex addict. I was dealing with a lot of uh, suicidal thoughts. I remember specifically at one point in time um, not being with my family and having just a lot of noise. The devil was really working on me. You're not good enough. Nobody loves you. I had made a decision that I had had enough. Uh, this specific night. Out of nowhere, I became calm, the noise stopped, and I felt like I was hearing somebody tell me, you matter, I have a plan for you. And I wish I could say that that night, I gave my life to God, and everything was much better, but it didn't work out that way. It was a process of, all right, Lord, I, I'm gonna give this to you. I, I can't do it on my own. One after another, and these things started to fall. Fast forward to about four years ago and I quit drinking. I started uh, coming to RBC more consistently. I surrounded myself with amazing men, shout out to them. My wife pursued me through all of the bad. My children are amazing and I really felt like God came alongside me. And now looking back, I know that the Lord the entire time, he knew me. I was not hiding anything from him and he loved me. And I could never work my way in, into into heaven or into being loved by him. It's a gift from him, it's by his grace. And I, sh I shouldn't be here, I should be dead. And he had mercy on me has, and has redeemed me. Anybody that has an emptiness, uh, it cannot be satiated with the things that you're chasing in the world. It cannot be satiated with sex, drugs, alcohol, work, kids, your spouse. Only Jesus can fulfill you and give you peace. No matter what you're trying to hide, just like me, the Lord knows you, He loves you, He's ready for you to come to Him and He will run to you. Marcus, my journey with you began before I even met you, November 1st, 2019, your wife, a Quest volunteer, shared a prayer request for you. I've been praying for you since then. And it's been a privilege to watch the redemptive work of God in your life. And because of you've trusted in Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in the newness of life. Amen. Well, God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And here's the thing, brothers and sisters, some may die for a righteous person, but Romans tells us that Christ died for us while we were still sinners, and that is worth celebrating. So let's continue to sing and worship and celebrate together as we've just witnessed our brother proclaiming the gospel and walking in newness of life. Come all you weary, come all 